Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Clean out your ears. We're going to hit several items today. Weather, seismic activity, more electric water, solar forcing, and miniature Nova events. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. We find the last day was moderately active. We're only seeing moderate level solar flares, but the sunspot situation is growing and the plasma filaments are providing an equal amount of eruptive concern at the moment. While geomagnetic conditions and solar wind are calming, we see the sunspot number surging, including a reawakening of the northern hemisphere. Will be interesting to see if that continues. Meanwhile, we're eyeing those sunspots for flaring activity once they gain a bit more magnetic complexity, and the plasma filaments are always on eruption watch. Their activity is beautiful and belies how violently they can tear away from the corona. Seismic activity next. Top quake of the day was a six-pointer in the South Sandwich Islands, also took a five-pointer in Italy a bit too close to where we've been focused lately, and an interesting and unusual shake in Kuwait off the southeast corner of Iraq. Folks, I'm sure you heard about the superstorm tearing across the states like an inland hurricane with a tail. That tail is actually the scary part, tornadoes, hail, and high wind. Saw a video yesterday of about 30 trucks tipping over. That tail is where the air masses converge, pointing down towards the Gulf states from the spinning low approaching the Great Lakes. The core of the storm may be in the Midwest, but tonight those southern states are taking the convergence tail line and we'll see the worst of the weather. Before we hit our top three science stories, last night we posted a short reissuance of Campy Flegri's alert, but we also mentioned that a major YouTube channel was disrespectfully and very incompletely trying to debunk solar forcing of earthquakes. I asked you guys last night if we should engage or ignore, and it was 50-50, so today let's add a third option. Comment below if we should A, engage his channel on the topic, B, engage the subject matter of the sun and earthquakes and ignore him personally, or C, just let it all go. Comment A, B, or C below. Folks, it was two days ago we covered the shocking and unexpectedly huge electric current produced by water moving on a surface. Today, it's similar, but there's no surface. It's water vapor spray and micro lightning flashes and discharging between the droplets. This is implications for building organic compounds, as they suggest there in the title, also for industry and for natural processes in weather and solid earth physics like earthquakes and volcanoes. Up next, solid look at temperature and precipitation deep into the past. Turns out the same things controlled the earth way back then, the sun and the ENSO cycle. Hot, cold, wet, dry, it's the sun over long time scales working large moisture flow patterns. And lastly here folks, Millinova. These have energy blasts in the 10 to the 35 to 37 ergs range, about X10,000 to X1 million range if you're comparing it to solar flares. So it's bigger than the sun's theorized micronova in terms of the X-ray blast, not to mention much bigger than all the other micronova they've ever spotted. But this one has no ejected material at all. The official name for the No Nova Nova events is now Millinova. Folks, the monthly issue of Observer Review comes out tonight. Our e-magazine is the best way to stay updated and in context with all the science that comes out each month. Best way to support this channel as well. Track the topics in the Earth disaster cycle. Sign up at the link below and don't forget... Pole Shift Conference at Observer Ranch today. Next one is in a month. Come see the event schedule and plan your trip to come see us. It begins at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.